Hello, welcome to Fun Quiz. In this quiz, you've got 61 points to win, with five of those points being for an incorrect answer that you need to spot. Also, you need to spot Boris, because if you do, he's worth two points. Anyway, I'll explain more as we run through the quiz. The first round's going to be the entertainment's round. Each one you get correct is worth one point, and I'll give you five seconds to guess the answer. So good luck, here we go for question number one. The album Are You Experienced was released in 1967 by which band? It was the Jimi Hendrix Experience, question two. Now you may need more time for this question, so get ready to pause. How many women's names are mentioned in Lou Bega's hit Mambo number no. five? The answer's nine, with them being Angela, Pamela, Sandra, Rita, Monica, Erica, Tina, Mary and Jessica. Question three. Who directed the 2021 movie Belfast, starring Jamie Duran and Judi Dench? It was Kenneth Branagh. Question four. The 70s US sitcom Laverne and Shirley was a spin-off of which popular show? It was Happy Days. Question 5. Who played the character Dr. McPhee in the Night at the Museum film franchise? It was Ricky Gervais. Righty, let's move on to the pictures round. Now, once you see the picture, I'll give you 10 seconds to guess the answer, and each one you get correct is worth two points. So good luck, here we go for picture one. This is the flag for which country? It's Bangladesh. Picture two, in which country would you find this building? It's the Alamo in the USA. Picture three. This is a close-up of what? It's a vinyl record and stylus. Picture four. Name this painting and its artist. It's the Night Watch by Rembrandt. Picture five. Name this book. It's Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. Picture six. Name this dog breed. It's the beautiful Maltese. Picture seven. Name this celebrity. It's a young John Lennon. Picture eight. Name this planet. It's the planet Jupiter. Picture nine. These are the eyes of which American president? They're the eyes of Jimmy Carter. And picture 10. Name this furry friend. It's Gizmo from the brilliant film The Gremlins. Okay, let's move on to round three, which is called Famous Seconds. Now for each question, I'll give you five seconds to guess the answer, and each one you get correct is worth one point. So here we go for question number one. 
Who was the second man to walk on the moon? It was Buzz Aldrin. Question two. What is the second tallest mountain in the world? It's Godwin Austin, also known as K2. On to question three. Oxygen is the most abundant element on Earth. Can you name the second? It's silicon. Question four. What is the second largest sea? It's the Coral Sea in the South Pacific Ocean. Question five. What is the second book of the Bible? The answer's Exodus. Right, just before we move on to the next round, I'd just like to say a massive congratulations to Rob and Danielle for scoring 51 in the last pub quiz. Well done both, and thanks for your support. Okie dokie, let's move on to the next round, which is called the Name Game. And this one's got a music connection. Now what you need to do is look at each picture and tell me the name of the band. Each one you get correct is worth two points. But remember the name of the band, which I'll explain more later. Here's band number one. Band number two. Band three. Band four. And band five. Now look at your answers, and for five more points, tell me what's the link? Number one was the Miami Sound Machine, at number two was the Manhattan Transfer, the incredible Texas at three, four was the Detroit Spinners, and five was the Jackson Five. So for five more points, they should have led you to them all having an American town, city or state in their name. Well, I hope you got a maximum 15 points for that round. Right, let's move on to the general knowledge round. Now for this round, I'll give you five seconds to guess the answer, and each one you get correct, I'll give you one point. So here's question number one. Which was the world's first national park created in 1872? It was the Yellowstone Park in the USA. Question two. Which author wrote The Hunchback of Notre Dame and Le Miserable? It was Victor Hugo. On to question three. What does the Mohs scale measure? It measures the hardness of minerals. Question four. Which country is the largest producer of motor vehicles? It's China. Question five. What is the only active volcano on mainland Europe called? It's Mount Vesuvius in Italy. Question six. Which Formula One team did Lewis Hamilton start his career with in 2007? It was McLaren. Okay, question seven. Which movie's famous restaurant scene includes the line, I'll have what she's having? It's from the brilliant When Harry Met Sally. Question eight. Who wrote the novel The Handmaid's Tale? It was Margaret Atwood. On to question nine. 
Which 2007 device was launched with the slogan, This is only the beginning? It was iPhone. Okay, question 10. Arnold Schwarzenegger was married to a member of which famous political family? It was Maria Shriver, who was part of the Kennedy family. Well, did you spot the deliberate mistake for five points? I said for number six in the picture round that the dog was a Maltese, when it was actually a Bichon Frise. And did you spot Boris for two points? He made an appearance in question number three of the entertainment round. He was sat on top of the countdown. Well, I hope you enjoyed our quiz and you'll promise to come back and play more quizzes with us at Fun Quiz again. In the meantime, you please take care. Bye.